Hopefully you've already watched the first how to make a quadratic formula program because now we're going to fancy it up a little bit. Um, so if I go into program and edit my quadratic formula, um, I'm going to add some things. The guts of the program aren't going to change much, but the results hopefully will. So if I go here, second, insert, and press enter a couple of times, it adds a couple of lines in there, which we're going to need. So the first thing that we're going to do after clear home is we're going to tell the calculator to be in imaginary or complex mode. Now, there are a lot of different places, or rather, there's one place somewhere in the calculator to find it, but I think the easiest place to get most of these are in catalogs. Press second, zero, and then we want to stay in the A's and scroll down to A plus B I. So if I scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down, getting close, there it is, A plus B I. If you put that in your program, then when you calculate, a quad, or, uh, calculate the quadratic formula for a quadratic that would have imaginary solutions, it'll actually give it to you. Now, something else that we're going to add is we want to make sure that it doesn't have a ton of decimals with it because most of the time with the square roots, it might fill up the screen and you'd have to scroll. So what we're going to do is we're going to force it to only have three decimal places. So again, I'm going to go into my catalog, second catalog, and I want fix. So if I press the F button right now, it jumps me down here. Now I want fix. So I'm going to scroll down to fix. And I want to fix it to three decimal places, so I'm going to do fix three. Um, so that is a good start. Now, when it runs, if I quit out and run this again and do the same two, three, and four that we did previously, it now displays what the values would be and it doesn't give an error non-real, it actually gives what they are. Now the problem is if I do 2 plus 3 now, it keeps it as a fixed 3 amount. So what we want is in our program, we want to undo those settings. So what we want to do is scroll all the way down to the bottom. And about here, I'm going to add a couple more lines just so it's uh, spaced out from the, the main bulk of the program. And we're going to do the first thing is, I'm going to go into my catalog, scroll down to real, or you can just type R. And then I want to scroll down. When I'm being on the computer, I have to do it slowly or it freaks out. Right there, I want real. This will turn off that A plus BI. And I want to make it float again so that it displays 5 and not 5.000. So if I pick float, now when I run my program, oops, sorry, I gotta run my program again. If I run my program, it comes up and I type two, three, four, and I get my same values, but now when I do two plus three, Oh, I can't type for some reason. 2 plus or 3 plus 2, it gives me 5 and not 5.000. So there's a little step 2, a little fancier of a quadratic program that works with imaginary roots.